Hey, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So today we're hanging out at home. It's actually not Christmas Day. It's a couple days before. Wanted to crank out some videos here for you guys. Wanted to make sure we are inside. We are stuck inside. It is 30 below with a wind chill factor. Actually about minus 7 outside. It is really cold. Uh, hanging out. We're going to make some vegetable soup today. I know we've done this video before, but it's been over a year. We got a couple things we're going to do a little bit differently, um, but pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, it's really good stuff. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. Um, I don't know. What do you got to say? I'm starving. I feel like I'm kind of sounding like a game show host again. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird not going in the stores and do a video. It's not used to these anymore. These are the fun ones, though. Uh, we're going to put together this uh, vegetable soup. We're going to show you everything you need. You know, when it comes to these kind of meals, guys, I'm easy. Like, I, I make it as easy as possible. Uh, we are going to omit a couple things that I would normally put in because Jessica's not a big onion fan. Ew. And for the celery, well, we're going to show you. Let's get to it. Okay, so for this vegetable soup recipe, you will need celery. You're going to need sirloin. It's beef vegetable soup. So you're going to need uh, either sirloin tips, which we got from Meyer, um, or you can get some sirloin and cut it up. You can use whatever steak you want. Just cut it up into cubes. You're going to need a can of beef broth, a can of tomato sauce, and we use corn, peas. I didn't have any Kroger uh, peas and the cut green beans frozen now the last time i did this we used cans which you can use cans but if you do then you want to wait to like the last minute or two uh when the vegetable soup's almost done to put these in we're going to put these the frozen one in, frozen ones in about 10 minutes before it's done so and you get the bread here all the celery oh yes yes you need the the 100% vegetable juice, which is ridiculously expensive now, um, $4.29 for this at Kroger is absolutely crazy, but $4.99 for the, um, the V8. So, okay, so this is actually something new that we're going to try here. Jess is going to uh, brown the meat in a frying pan. Normally what I would do is I put, th or I put the, uh, we have the pot of water here. And I bring this to a boiling temperature, and then I will boil the meat for 30 minutes. But we're going to try something different. We're going to brown the meat in the frying pan here. She put a little bit of cooking oil here. And we're going to go ahead and get the meat on the pan. Also, you kind of want the steak tips to be about no more than a half an inch. Sometimes you'll get them and they'll be kind of big, so you might just want to cut some of them in half. Um, like Jess is doing here so eloquently. You excited? Yeah. I know. We've been waiting for vegetable soup for a while. 30 degree below zero with the wind chill factor. We figured now is the time. It is actually Friday, December 23rd. Um, I know a lot of you guys, I hope you're staying indoors right now. Uh, the weather is crazy. Hopefully you're doing well. Having a great weekend. Okay, so this is about a pound and a half of meat. I don't know if you need this much, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. What do you think? I think it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll have some leftovers for sure. Jess is putting the meat in here. Also, we got it just a little bit above medium here. Just give you guys an idea of what we're... You don't want to... Definitely don't want to overcook it. You basically just want to brown the meat. But I think this will help sear in the juices and stuff. Jess is adding a little salt, a little sea salt and black. Just a little flavor. Yeah, a little bit of pepper. Also, guys, yeah, sorry, we have a very small kitchen, so we, we work with what we can. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this works. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Just trying something new. I want to try a couple new things. Okay, so while she's taking care of that, I'm going to cut up the celery here. Now, the way I do this, because she doesn't like celery, but we this is the main ingredient, guys. 
you have to have celery in it but i cut it in kind of big stalks so that we can pull it out at the end okay so we got our celery cut up here in big pieces now what we do is we're going to put it in with all the other stuff and cook it with it because celery you have to have celery in it for the flavor now you can cut it up in fine pieces and leave the celery in but jessica doesn't really like celery so we still cook it in with the soup but i take some uh tongs and pull them out when it's all done so now we're going to add the vegetable juice the beef broth and the tomato sauce hi hello okay now we're gonna add the juices add the Yum. Kroger. and honestly i recommend using kroger i know it's expensive um it's all expensive you know when you find a sale on this stuff buy it up when you get a chance um but i prefer the kroger brand over the v8 when you're making this vegetable why so, i don't know i just think it's got better flavor pour that in yummy there. yeah Good stuff. Now you don't have to use a big stock pot like this, but if you have one, I recommend it because more the merrier. Okay. Double oh that. yeah. In the trash. Now we're gonna add the tomato sauce. Watch the lid. I know. Oh, I got it. Tomato sauce in there, and now we're going to add beef broth. Yes, I said beef broth. Um. There we go. So all that's added in there. Yummy. And now, see, we're doing this a little normally, or a little different than normal, because normally we would boil the meat and then uh, strain the meat and then pour it in, and then I would just put this on the stove right away so it would already start cooking. But while we're waiting on the meat, I think it's good because I think we can... Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I Look at that. Think we don't have to wait too long. Well, because if it's it's going to boil inside of there, I just want to make sure that it gets cooked all the way. So I was just kind of browning it a little bit, which is essentially what he would have done if he was boiling it. I just think when you boil it, it just makes the meat really tough. When we're done with it, too, we'll we'll give a good, uh, which we like better. I, yeah. think it I don't think it matters. Probably not, but... Okay, so we have everything in here. Also, if you're going to use onion, I would recommend uh, chopping up, finely chopping up the onion to where it's real thin pieces and putting it in. We don't use onion. Um, Jessica's not an onion fan. Uh, but I'm telling you, all the flavors are here, guys. When it's done, it is just great. Okay, so the meat is pretty much browned. Again, we're going to be cooking this on the stove for another 45 minutes. So you don't have to worry. Don't overcook the meat. Uh, it's just nicely browned. A little seared, right? Yeah. A little seared there. So uh, we think it might open up some flavor a little bit more than when we boil it. We'll I don't think you can really go wrong either way. So we're going to strain this um, and then put it into the soup here. And then we're going to put it on like a medium high, try and get it up to like a light boil. Uh, and then once it gets to a light boil, you want to crank it up just a little bit. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Okay, so Jess is putting the meat in the bowl. I'm going to crank this up to like a medium high. Um, our stove gets really... Oh, uh, yeah. See, our stove's a little kind of, kind of finicky. Like, it gets really hot on this particular burner, but we need it for... The stock pot here. You just want to put the meat in there and then let the magic happen. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for about 45 minutes and then we're gonna add the vegetables in. So it's gonna be about 55 minutes total. Because we're using the frozen vegetables, uh, we're gonna let them go for 10 minutes. If you were using the cans, which you can, but if you use the canned vegetables, you don't want to let it, you basically want to Put the vegetables in and then after like three or four minutes turn it off after it's boiling but we're going to give the uh frozen vegetables 10 minutes added to the 45 so that'll um and then it'll be done and we're not adding noodles i know in the last video we did add noodles not adding noodles this time couldn't find the kind we like uh the pastinis are the ones that i like the little ball noodles those are the best uh but i haven't seen haven't seen those in a long time. It's okay. Time. It'll be delicious. It'll be good. Also, I need to clarify, it is beef vegetable soup, 
not vegetables. It's more like beef stew. <laughs> beef <really>. stew <laughs> with vegetables in it. So, yeah. Hopefully it's delicious. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. Just tasted the meat. Tastes perfect. Now we're going to add the vegetables. Going to be a good, Jump into a, good the amount tub. here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and again, um, I feel like okay. I'm gonna say this, and I could be wrong in my opinion, but I feel like frozen vegetables taste better than canned vegetables, yeah. and I don't know if that's just because they're fresh, right before they freeze them, or I don't know. Especially corn and peas, because for some reason lately corn has been really gross in the can. There's all of those like extra pieces of the rind and stuff in there, and peas just taste like a tin can. When you don't have a can. So, yeah. I mean, maybe that's just me, and I don't know. There's different ways to get rid of it, but I just feel like frozen vegetables taste so much better. Unfortunately, they're more expensive, but I don't know. Not much more expensive. Yes. Give it a good mix up there. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to let this go for about 10 to 12 minutes. Kind of, we'll take a little. We took a bite of the meat, the meat was perfect. Um, it's well, actually these only are frozen, so we don't want, and we did in three bags, so we don't want it to cool the soup completely off. So we right. want to let it come back to a boil, probably. Yeah. And let it cook for maybe fifteen minutes or so. Right. So you think fifteen minutes? Yeah. So I don't know. Normally we use cans. Usually we use cans, right, but that's so. why I like. I feel like because we added so many frozen vegetables, it's cold. Right. I don't know, like, what that's going to do to the temperature of the pot. Right, So yeah. we're kind of just, like, experimenting. I'll check it. Yeah. But you can tell that it took the boil away. Yes. So. I can tell you one thing. want it to come back up to a boil. It smells delicious. It really does. Okay, so the soup is done. Letting it come down here. It's, uh, what did you think it take? About an hour? Yeah. It's right about an hour. We let the vegetables cook for about 15 minutes. We let it come up to a boil again. And then about 12, 13 minutes or so. Uh, Jess already pulled out all the celery. We use the tongs there and pull the celery out and just throw the celery away. But if you like the celery, if you want to have the celery in it, like I said before, I would recommend uh, cutting it up in little pieces and putting it in. Also, if you want onion, uh, I would cut the onion up real thin too. Okay, so Jess has got her bowl ready. She's going to add a little shredded cheese in there. Yeah. <laughs> it is extremely hot. Yeah. So be careful. Don't burn yourself. Now for the moment of truth. <laughs> I'm afraid to eat it. I mean, that cheese like melted like as fast as you threw it in there. So just be careful. Oh, boy. Good. Delicious. All right. Give it a try here. Good or not good? Great. Delicious. Yeah. Hey guys, well this video is one more day closer to Christmas. It is now Christmas Eve, a day after we made the vegetable soup. I know it's all kind of mixed up right now. It's kind of crazy. Um, but Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, it is Christmas Eve here today. Did you like the vegetable soup? I did. It was delicious. Really good. Very easy. I will also leave the link to the other video of the vegetable soup that we made down below. So you can watch that video if you want. We do that one with the canned vegetables. Might be a little easier. I will say the frozen vegetables tasted better. Yeah. Yeah, they were definitely, I don't know, um, it was probably, what, about 15 minutes Yeah. that we left the vegetables in there, um, just to make sure they were done. Um, but yeah, it was uh, really good getting ready for the holidays. We tried to go out to my dad's today, and the roads were completely ice covered, so we turned around and came home. It was pretty nasty. Uh, it's kind of sad not being able to spend Christmas Eve with them, but uh, it's better to be safe. Uh, there was a massive pile up on 75. There was a bad wreck. That was the sign. We turned right around and came home. And, um, you know, it was, we probably could have made it, but it would have taken us forever. They live about an hour away from here. So it was like, yeah, we just weren't going to chance it. But you know what? Tomorrow's Christmas. Actually, today for you guys is Christmas. So Merry Christmas, guys. 
Merry Christmas! Thank you so much for watching the video today. Try the vegetable soup, the beef vegetable soup. I think I need to clarify that. It's not all vegetable. You gotta have some beef in there. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Merry Christmas. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember the adventure is out there. Bye! Merry Christmas! Thank you.